Welcome to this episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. My name's Nathan Brockman, and I'm the Butterfly Wing Curator here at the Gardens. And on today's episode, we're going to take a closer look at one of the unique butterflies found here in the Christina Ryman Butterfly Wing, Greta Otto, commonly known as the Glass Wing. Butterflies and moths have membranous wings, which are supported by a series of veins which radiate out from the base of the wings. In almost all cases, these membranous wings are covered by a series of tiny overlapping scales which make up the colors and patterns found on the wings of butterflies and moths. Here we have an image taken under a dissecting microscope of the wing of a common blue morpho, which actually makes it possible to see the tiny overlapping scales. As a group, these scales are very important to the butterfly's daily life in areas such as defense, species identification, and courtship. By removing some or all of these scales, you drastically affect the ability of the butterfly to complete its task in a successful manner. Greta Otto, commonly known as the glass wing or clear wing, are unique butterflies because their membranous wings are not covered by scales. In the wild, glass wings can be found in Mexico and Central America as far south as Panama. Even though they are a relatively small butterfly with a wingspan of two and a quarter inches or 60 millimeters, the glass wings are still a very strong flyer in the wild. They are so strong, in fact, that glass wings are known to participate in migratory flights. It is believed that during these flights, the glass wings have the ability to travel over 12 and a half miles or 20 kilometers a day. When they are not flying long distances, the glass wings are quite content to visit and feed from a variety of nectar plants. Along with nectar plants, the male glass wings visit certain plants to acquire plant volatiles, which they then use in pheromone creation to aid in their ability to attract a suitable mate. It has also been shown that glasswing males are territorial. This means they will defend a location from other invading males in the hopes the location they have chosen will increase their chances of catching the attention of a passing female. After a female has mated with a male, she begins searching for host plants to lay her eggs on. Female glasswings usually lay a small number of eggs per plant, and then on those plants, one egg per leaf. Since glass wings are considered to be a butterfly with a long lifespan, it is possible for this egg laying process to be repeated for several days or even weeks. Greta Otto is not the only species of butterflies to have clear wings, but it belongs to a very small group that do. Probably the greatest advantage of their clear membranous wings is their ability to blend in with any background. This ability not only makes them difficult to see on the ground, but while they're in flight as well. It also means whether you are trying to observe the glass wings in a controlled environment, such as the Christina Rima butterfly wing, or in the wild, it may require a keen sense of observation and a bit of luck to see them. The pupa or chrysalis stage of the glass wing is also quite fascinating, so much so that in Latin America it has a special name, espejitos, which translates to tiny mirror. It's hard to see in a photo but these chrysalids are so reflective that if you look close you can actually make out your own reflection. Glasswing chrysalids are so beautiful they almost look like tiny jewels which belong on a necklace. The glasswings are just one of the many beautiful and fascinating butterfly species which can be observed from time to time in the Christina Ryman butterfly wing. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Growing at Ryman Gardens. If you'd like to learn more about the gardens, or the butterflies found in the Christina Ryman Butterfly Wing, please visit our website at rymangardens.com. Thank you.